In this tutorial, we will be introducing geometric proofs and how they are structured. Here is the basic layout of a proof. You will be provided with a given statement or statements. These are statements that are true and you can use to start your proof. You will also see a prove statement. This is what you need to prove in this proof. Next, you'll have a diagram. This will have all the relevant parts labeled. At a minimum, the parts of all of the given statements and prove statements will be labeled. Finally, there is the proof section where you have two columns, one labeled statements and one labeled reasons. The statements column is where you make statements about what you know and the reason column is where you write why you know it. Now, let's look at an example. This will be a very basic proof as we are using it to illustrate how the different parts fit together. Here, we are given the fact that line 1 and line 2 are parallel. This is written next to the given statement. If you look over at the diagram, you'll see that line 1 and line 2 are labeled already. Any given statements should already be labeled on the diagram so it is clear which lines or angles they are referring to. Next, there is a prove statement. Here, we need to prove that angle 1 equals angle 2. As with the given statement, any lines or angles that are named in the prove statement should also be clearly marked on the diagram. Now for the proof part. Always start your proof with your given statement or statements. The idea is that you are starting with what you know and working towards what you need to prove. Here, we write that line 1 is parallel to line 2 under statement. For the reason, we write given, as we were given this statement as part of this proof. Now, normally there would be a series of statements and reasons as we work towards what we are trying to prove. But for this example, it is actually our next step that is the last step. We can state that angle 1 equals angle 2, and for the reason, we write corresponding angles of parallel lines. We write this because we know that line 1 and line 2 are parallel from the given statement. In this lesson, you learned about proofs, that you'll be given starting statements that are true and what you need to prove, that the corresponding lines and angles will be identified on a diagram, and that you complete your proof with a series of statements and reasons, starting from the given statement, working towards what you are supposed to prove.